Hello, I'm Jimmy. If you aren't familiar with programs such as Steam's in-home streaming, NVIDIA Moonlight, or the currently upcoming Rainway, basically they all boil down to one common goal. If you have a gaming PC but want to play your games somewhere else in the house, they allow you to play them on various other devices you own, whether it's a dinky little pre-built laptop, a Raspberry Pi, or even an Android device. Now the program Parsec is really cool because not only does it work with all of the devices I've listed, but it also works online. Now the cool thing about it being online is that you can play any PC game you own anywhere you want. However, that's not going to be the focus of this. Not only can you play your games, but your friends can actually join you, similar to PS4 share play, or, as long as you allow it, they can just basically steal your whole computer. In short, now you can play any local multiplayer only game online. And yeah, this even works for emulators without a netplay solution, such as CMU or RPCS3. And for my testing, input latency actually seems to be pretty low. Not completely unnoticeable, mind you, but nonetheless, really good. Streams at a nice 60 FPS too. I believe you can even go higher as long as your monitors and connections support it. I'd like to also just mention that I live in Connecticut, and my friend lives in California. She has pretty slow download speeds and especially slow upload speeds. She wasn't able to host, but when I was hosting and she connected, just all that considered, the lack of input lag is really something to behold. Two more things real quick, so please bear with me. It might sound like I'm sponsored by them, but I'm not. I just think that stuff like this is underutilized. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I just want to share my excitement. The second thing, you definitely don't want to use this with strangers. You probably only want to use it with your good friends. Anyone who connects to you will have full control over your mouse and your keyboard, and they'll be able to see your entire desktop. Uh, that all said, it's very simple to revoke control. All you gotta do is press a simple hotkey. Unfortunately, it does not allow you to stream only the game. You have to stream your entire desktop, so if you're not comfortable with that, well, uh, maybe it'll change in the future. That's how it is right now. All right, let's get us set up. I will specify what both the host and the client need to do. So to start out, go to the main website, which is parsec.tv. Make an account and install the program. During the installation, when it asks you to install the controller driver, you definitely want to hit yes. Be sure to read the next pop-up too. In the meantime, let's go back to Parsec's website. Log in and go to the top where it says share servers. Enter in your friend's email address on the side and press share server. Now on the program, generally I would say leave most of the settings on their default setting unless you know what you're doing. Just make sure decoder mode is on hardware and I would leave VSync off if you want less input lag. This increases screen tearing though, so client's preference. Now if you're the one hosting, you wanna make sure on the host tab it says you are accepting connections. If you're a client, you can turn this off. Now host. When you're all ready, tell your friends to connect. Windows should notify you that someone wants to connect. When it does, press Control F1. They should be able to see your computer. Though I should mention, if you're talking to your friends on the same computer, through Skype or Discord or whatever, you might want to learn how to split your audio, otherwise they'll hear themselves. The tutorial's not about this, so I'm not going to get into it, but you can look up how to split game audio from Skype audio using Razer Surround or Virtual Audio Cable. Plenty of tutorials out there. Now, if you're all set and they're looking at your computer, what you want to do is you want to go to the Parsec window and press Allow Control on your friend. After that, they should be able to move the mouse around with low input latency and a high frame rate. If there's issues with this though, it's likely on the host side. If the host doesn't have a half-decent internet speed, then it's probably not going to work too well. Now, if the client has a controller plugged into his computer, it should appear on the host computer. If you're on Windows 10, you can go to your Start menu and look up Game Controllers. If it doesn't appear, then the client should just try pressing buttons on the controller or unplug and replug it. Test it to make sure it all works, and you should be good to go. If you ever want to revoke their control, you can press Control F2. When you're all set, Control F3 kicks everyone. And that's it, you should be all good. Every local only multiplayer game has been brought to the 21st century. If you still need help, they have both an FAQ and a pretty active Discord server located on their website. Best of luck to all of you, and have fun.